Every time I come to LA, I gotta come to Venice. So today's photo walk is all about finding the best photo spots in Venice Beach. This is a beach unlike any other that you've ever been to, trust me on this one. It is a people and street photography haven. We're gonna show you how, when, and where to get the best shots, offer some photo tips. Let's begin by taking a look around. The Photo Walk series is all about bringing you to great places and bringing them to life in photos and videos, showing you the top spots like this great shark who likes to pose in board shorts. Your top Venice shots has got to begin with the Venice sign at Windward and Pacific Avenue for a sense of place for your Photo Walk photo essay. Now it's best at night, but if you can't wait, there's a great replica of the Venice sign right here at this t-shirt shop at 1731 Oceanfront Walk. It's lit up like it is at night, but again, the best shots is gonna be over at Windward and Pacific right after dusk. That Maui and Sun surf shop on Oceanfront Walk has the iconic shark that we spoke about, and it's really popular for Instagram selfies. The skate park by the sea is perhaps the only one we know of with an ocean view, and there's always action and filmmaking going on. Muscle Beach has been popular with bodybuilders for years. Arnold Schwarzenegger used to work out there. There's always a show. Don't forget to capture beach scenes like lifeguard stations, surfers, and the like. For overhead shots, some of the drone enthusiast sites say that it's legal to fly a drone right here in Venice Beach, even though it's four miles from LAX, and the rule is you can't be five miles from an airport. However, I have a better idea. The Hotel Irwin, right off Oceanfront Walk, has a great seven-story rooftop view called the High. While up there, take a good look around and you will no doubt see some of those creative murals that perhaps flew right by you that were painted by local artists. Continue your photo walk by coming right down here and capturing some of your favorites, but look out for those distractions like big power lines. If they're in the way, just keep moving the camera until you get it right. After art, our photo walk moves to the dynamic street scene. So my tips on street photography is just let your camera go. Keep your finger down on that shutter button. Take lots and lots of images. You can edit them and delete them later. Be sure to capture things that catch your eye. I like those crazy sunglasses, the big ice cream cone, the kettle corn, and the woman who will put your name on rice. What jumps out at you? I think mainly like this area is number one, and then the canals are beautiful. The Venice sign here, there's so many murals. Mm -hmm. You know, the skate park is really cool. It's about the people. It's all different kinds of people out here languages that you hear when you're walking through. I'm in my house, right, and I watch TV every once in a while, but the TV doesn't entertain me as much as just being out here. So you want to capture the street performers, but even better than that, capture the people watching the street performers. Nine times out of 10, I'll always take a reaction shot out of the standard shot of the street performer. Which begs the question, is street photography legal? You betcha, as long as you're on the street in a public place. Street photography is an art form all to itself, a way to capture candid moments of life. Face it, you could ask permission, but you know what you'd end up with? A post shot, not a candid. And yes, Venice Beach is one of the premier street photo spots in the world. That said, be careful, Venice has more crime than its beach city communities to the south and to the north. Venice was founded in 1905 by the tobacco king Abbott Kinney. 
His idea was to recreate Venice, Italy by the Pacific, hence all those canals and bridges. The street named Abbot Kinney is the Tony part of Venice with high-end stores and cafes and a whole different kind of vibe than Venice Beach. Over the years, Venice Beach has attracted bodybuilders, beatniks, punk rockers, skateboard enthusiasts, and throngs of tourists, some 10 million yearly, who make the Hollywood to Beverly Hills to Venice Beach jaunt. Venice is flanked by Santa Monica to the north and the Marina del Rey to the south. I have a love affair with Venice. It's just the energy, the people. You're only bored if you want to be bored. I mean, you can't not... If you enjoyed this video, please like, please share, please comment, please subscribe, and please stay tuned. We've got a lot more photo walk videos from all over Southern California and other places. Remember, my best tip, people photography. Not just the people, you also want to get the reaction shots of other people. Those photos are priceless. Thanks again for watching, everyone. I'm Jefferson Graham. Let's go out and take...